So here we are at 12th and Valencia in the Pico Union neighborhood, right across the street from the Pico Union project, the historical Jewish temple that represents the oldest standing um, Jewish place of worship in the city of Los Angeles. Here in front of this center that now serves as a um, multi-faith center and cultural arts location, we have a live project going on right here on the corner of 12th and Valencia, we have a mural project that's going on. And here, the concept of this is that we are using written words and symbols in order to tell a story of a neighborhood and the values, using power words of the neighborhood in order to tell the story of the neighborhood. And as you'll see on this wall, we have all kinds of words that are written. How are you? Hey! And we're putting the word, you say, Esperanza, Esperanza. for hope. Okay, so here we are. We're over here at um, 12th and Valencia in the Pico Union District. And we're working on this mural. We have our muralist, Peter Greco, here who is on uh, transferring some of these uh, lovely words done in different styles of writing and calligraphy being transferred onto this glorious mural that we're putting together here. It's a word of all kinds. It's um, a bunch of words, power words for this community um, that really talk about the story and the values and the hopes of this community. Now, Peter, you do something very unique with um, muralism. You do words. words. Yeah. Uh, all with my uh, chisel pen. I usually do gothic letters, but so I've created this whole top area as sort of a uh, like a cap to the whole thing, and to kind of set up the whole stage here with big strokes. And now we're all filling this in with beautiful words mostly related to music. Um, Excellent. So right what I'm doing now is doing like this Irish kind of lettering. We have Korean here, Irish, Unchil there, Gothic, and we're also mixing up languages. So I have an Irish letter form with uh -huh. a Spanish word. Yeah. Which is fun. And here, here we have some good... Uh... We use Gothic because it's more of a really power language. This sure. based on Gothic. Uh, filling up a lot of space, you know. Um, so, okay, so here I go with a P. I always have to try to remember what word I'm writing because all I see is abstract forms when I'm doing this. I forget that I'm even making words sometimes. So I'm going to go over that. A little light. That's beautiful. You know, and so, you know, I should mention that you've been um, teaching calligraphy along the way in order for people to develop their own style and transfer it onto the wall um, this way. Um, you know, you do something different. I should also mention that, you know, you're using paint. When a lot of us think about, um, you know, having words on walls, we think of spray paint. Um, and you Not do only that, but painting these type of letters, you're normally done with ink. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it needs to flow. I have to actually thin down my paint with, uh, I'm using house paint, but thin down with acrylic uh, flow release to make it smooth. Nice, uh, nice. Really, really, really flow. Uh, so what, what's the next letter? You're my spell check. Okay, so it's E. E, another E. Uh-huh. And let me walk over just this way real quick as he's working on that to show we have Derek working over here now as you see we have all these different languages that are being added on we have Spanish we have English we have Korean as you can see over there there's some Arabic over here we have Hebrew we have Farsi and um, you know all of these different languages actually do have manifestations of culture in this community. Actually, this building here is owned by um, our neighbors who are Persian Jewish um, family who has been operating here for about 20 years on their garment shops. 
and um, so I saw the family out here actually adding some of the Farsi and Hebrew words as well. Looking very good here. Yeah. This is all about making the community, beautifying the community, you know, getting people involved. Um, they don't think, you know, they're surprised when I, I've been grabbing people off the street saying, write a word, you know? Yeah. And they don't think they can do it. At first they're a little intimidated, you know, but um, there, there are ways. You know, as a teacher, I found all kinds of shortcuts. I could make, get somebody to do pretty competently in just like a couple of hours of training. Nice. It's all practice though, but it doesn't really matter how masterful it is or anything. It's just the fun of doing it. And that's one of the reasons I'm out here. See, now you weren't here when I needed you, right? Really? Yes. Because I can't spell. Oh, is that what, is, is that what happened right here? <laughs> Here we have on our wall, on the wall we have all of these, uh, you know, powerful words uh, and also phrases like over here you have, uh, you know, what's the motto of the project here? Uh, you know, we live by the Jewish principle of love your neighbor as yourself at Pico Union Project. That's our motto. And uh, of course we have these great words that talk about um, the values of the community, esperanza, hope, art. We also have truth here. Now, what I should note, and I think that even you'll find this interesting, uh, you know, Peter, is that like truth here was written by one of the guys from our neighborhood. We've actually been attracting interest from the, uh, the clicas, you know, the, the guys on the block, uh, you know, who um, have been taking interest in this. And hopefully for years to come, um, this will remain because um, people are taking ownership in their arts and uh, you know in the future of this community and it just takes giving people these type of opportunities to take ownership for these things it's really a beautiful thing hopefully you guys will find that over the next two weeks more people are going to be coming out to join in and help us complete this mural and if you haven't seen yet um you know peter also has a very great mural out in the la arts district we are very very privileged to have him working with us here at the pico union project okay so until next week see ya Let me wet it.